Savoy as an E3 problem. Okay, so normally E3 error message means that you have problem with your glow plug. It takes about like 10 minutes to swap it. Uh, let me show you how to do it. You only need a couple of things. This is the glow plug that I purchased off of eBay. I think I paid about like 12 quid. In my case, the number seven. You undo the bolts and the battery and you will need Allen key. Make sure that the positive wire is way away from the battery compartment. Putting the bolt back in, and make sure you pull the battery tray back in. So there's absolutely no way that it can contact. Okay, we are under the driver's seat right now. And if you're like me, you happen to put the diesel heater under your seat, well, fingers crossed you have ample space and you can actually swap it. If not, then we just undo the six bolts and take off the seat, okay? Shouldn't take long. Okay, so now that the seat is out, you just undo the front. That's the air inlet and just lift the top off. Make sure you don't lose the bolts. We got four. Okay, so as I said, you need a screwdriver to undo this screw. And you need a plier to squeeze these two. Oh, hold on. Oh, as a matter of fact, you can do it with your hand. You have the local alcoholic arrived, and this is the bottom of your, I should say, electric panel. Now over here, the yellow and the green is for the glow plug. There's a little tab on the underside. You just press it and pull it off. It's that simple and set it to the side. Okay, there's a little rubber grommet or boot that you need to undo. Sorry, I'm trying to do this the way that you actually can see what I'm doing. In the little kit when you purchase it. You get this two, three, four, all my days, four gaskets that you don't use none of them. So many plastics. If you've got a replacement mesh, it's very important to replace it. We've got the glow plug itself and the remover tool. Okay, so now I'll show it in a replacement. You put this neatly over the wire and then you still have access to that nut to undo it. Okay? Okay. I think it's, yeah, I think it's on it. It's in an angle and then you can stick a screwdriver in it and just undo it. It was pretty loose from factory. I mean, I don't see why it needs to be any tighter than that. But it almost came out by itself. Oh my days, look at this. As I said, there's a little mesh on the bottom. Take that one out somehow. I think the problem is that it hanged in there. It's definitely coming. Okay. Oh well. That's pretty rough. This is the new one. Now it's ne it needs to go all the way down because there's an air inlet that obviously needs to be covered. And it just dropped right in. Yeah, I'm certain this is all the way to the bottom. So get the little glow plug. Get rid of the plastic, put it in gently, as you would expect it's quality so I'm pretty sure that it's very rough, that's why it's not going in. A little bit fiddling, oh, now, it's, now it's going. just to tighten it that's it I think that is in solid put the rubber boot back to protect it 
easier said than done to be honest you can use screwdrivers or whatever we have here just make sure you don't you don't pierce it nothing would happen if you pierce it it's best to keep it nice shape yeah it's in plug it back in remember the little tab is going towards the outside we just need to sort out the wiring these little tabs go back in wires are not catching that's a good sign replace the screw now let me go onto the battery tray i will connect the wire back in onto the battery and fire this sucker up after i attach the cable back to the battery let's fire her up Okay, that seems to be working. Let me check the fan. Fan is working. Let's just let's just wait for the click, clicking sound. Obviously air is coming out, but it's not hot just yet. What is this one? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I can hear a click. I don't know if you can hear it because my pump is on the underside of the car. Let's listen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's heating up the van in about like five seconds. Let's leave it in H1. And it feels like we're gonna fly away. Let me put back the cover so uh, that would help with the airflow. my days this is hot and it's so much quieter okay guys so i'm just gonna replace that and put it back on put the seat back in all the six bolts one two three four five six and that's the job well done so it only took about like what 20 minutes because i was rummaging around for my tools it's very easy fix and i think i'm gonna have an extra set you know in the van just in case this ever happens again this was a fairly new heater a fairly new i mean i put it in like six months ago maybe a little bit more maybe like a year but we don't really use it because we kind of like cold we pretty much turn it on when we want to dry some clothes and we just dump all the clothes over here and then in about like 20 30 minutes it's bone dry Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you drop me a like and subscribe, that will help the channel immensely. And see you in the next video. Bye.